How's it going? This is Oreo. We're going to be doing the Roses and Muskets event, and I'm going to show you the easiest way to do all four of these activities, get your rewards. Remember to like and subscribe if you appreciate this type of Genshin content. Let's get into this. The first event we're going to look at is the Path of the Sun. We just got to put some filming together and some narration together. For the first one, we're going to choose this top right, then select narration here. Then we're going to choose the third option. Select the second screen. We're going to choose the bottom option. On the third one, we select top left. And the fourth one, we select top left and hit narration and go with the first one. Go ahead and start shooting. And it should look like this. 30 points for the first frame, 20 points for the second frame, 20 more points for the third frame, and the last frame should end us at 30 points for a total of 100. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Three stars, the white handiwork. <laughs> Great job, let's, let's move on to the next event. The second activity that we're doing during this event is literally just a sniper. I'm gonna show you exactly where to shoot. Make sure you get headshots. It's really, really simple. Start off with the bridge and then we're gonna move to the right. So here we go. Start off with the bridge. Headshot. And headshot. We'll walk to the right. Headshot. And he's gonna go up the stairs. Headshot. This guy still doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> I feel kind of bad for him. <laughs> Then the next set here, get the big guy. We're gonna take bullet to bullets. He's gonna move off. Get this guy, oh, shoot the barrel. Then shoot this guy, cause he's gonna move there in that position perfectly. Then shoot this guy that's gonna be moving here. He's gonna come back. All right. Then this guy in between the two walls. Wait for him, wait for him. Here we go. And then the next set, these guys in the back. I go for these guys first, cause you wanna hit the barrel at the right moment. See, get a four kill there. And then you want to kill this guy first and the big guy will move toward him. Shoot him and then shoot him again. He's gonna move off to the left. There we go. Then get the last guy, he doesn't know what's going on. Then that's it. It's that easy, easy peasy. Start with the bridge, then go to the right, middle, left. That's all it takes. You get all three and let's move to the next event. Okay, so here is Tricky Shots, Tricky Light. It, it's basically just like an abyss, although it is, it is a lot of fun. We're going to get that 4K score and make sure that the score multiple is at 4. Definitely use Ayaka out of the out of the two trial characters. And the best thing that I've been using is Bennett, Shangling. You could try using someone like Fischl or Kuki if you have them built. But I use Lynette uh, for the BB Shred and to keep them grouped up and keep my characters safe. And as well with Ayaka helping them keeping the group up with a net like that with their taunt really helps not miss ayaka's burst there's going to be a special ability called special lighting basically hit t 60 percent increase in damage for 12 seconds off on cryo damage we use bennett's burst and Changmin's burst lynette and then we can use ayaka and um ayaka's burst and skill keep in mind that you typically on the first one we can use our special ability while ayaka's burst is going so this is what i mean so first skill and burst and use hers in the middle and then we're gonna use the burst like this and typically in the middle of this we can use hers the special ability there we go well it's dark there we go first all right then we get leans up once again do this all over again and just keep using this first to her again two seconds it's still going, still going. Pop it. One more time. Keep it going. All right. And go for her burst. Lynette's once again. <laughs> it, it literally just goes in a circle like this. Let's time this a little better. So one more second. Just wait a second. And then pop her, pop her burst and then hit the special ability. All right. One seconds, there we go. And pull the next burst. There we go. We have six seconds until the next one. Let's wait. Because we have two seconds on Ayaka's anyways. There we go. Let's pop this burst here. And there we go. Special ability. We'll use her burst here on this little one. Alright. Oh. 
burst. One more time with the burst here. One that should be coming up very soon. Oop. Damn, I missed time. Keep it toward the middle here. Just a little bit there. We'll use this. Finish it off, and we should get our score. All right, 4,456, not a bad score. Great, let's move on to the next one. Now, to get to the fourth event that I'm gonna show you, remember that you can just open up the map and hit the stabilization platform icon, and you could just simply teleport from here. Now, this fourth activity, if you didn't see the 4.3 showcase, is actually the co-op activity, where we actually move big mecha balls into the gates and try our best to be the number one person to get the most balls into the gate to win. Remember that the stabilization mecha balls avoid the tester, so they're always going to go in the opposite direction. There's going to be regular balls and glitz balls. The glitz balls are the ones that we really want. They give us a higher score. They're going to have jump boosters, so whenever we do jump, we can actually go higher and further, and we're going to have five arenas during this game i honestly kind of wish this one sticks around for a little while but let's go ahead and get into this it shows you the types of walls that we can actually have during the arena so these are the things that are going to change we can change the character up here and whichever character we actually want to go in with go ahead and hit prepare the count that begins once all the players are ready round and round it goes let's do this all right we're stuck inside the walls first all right let's see if i can win guys Hurt him in, hurt him in, hurt him in. Do I have my abilities? I don't know. No, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> Come on, get in there. All right, he gave me one. <laughs> Sweet. Hurt him in, hurt him in. Oh, a glitz ball appeared. Get in there, get in there, get in there. All right, <laughs> he gave me the glitz ball. You guys saw that? All right, dude. What a generous guy. Oh, I got the glitz ball. I got the glitz ball. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I got the glitz ball. Yeah. <laughs> dude, this is great. <laughs> you guys think I want to win? Oh, he, he got blocked. Nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go, more glitz balls. Damn. Oh, I ran out of, sh I ran out of jump charges. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Sweet, he choked three of them toward me. All right. <laughs> Did I win? Oh, hey, we got we got tied for first place. My score was 1300. Oh my god, that, that really was so much fun. <laughs> Remember, guys, definitely go ahead and claim all your rewards. In order to claim them, we can go ahead and go into the festival event page. We just go in and claim it from the chest. On the activity that we just did, the extreme drive, we can get a score of 2000 points max. That increases daily. Another place where we get rewards, this joyous gift. We get theater tickets for completing the event in general. So make sure you pick up the event weapon. We need to continue to get theater tickets and complete the quest throughout the event in order to get its refinements. We also receive another currency called Film for Fun. We actually use them to exchange for character talent and weapon ascension materials, mystic enhancement or and more. That's all the rewards that we can get from this event. That actually is a lot of fun. I hope that co-op uh, mode stays for, for a little while yet. and. Remember to like and subscribe if you appreciate this type of Genshin content, and I'll see you guys on the next video.